Well, hello there. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? Hope you're all having just a wonderful day. And just give me like one quick second just to... There we go. And yeah. Yeah. Let me know if you guys can hear the music. I think you can hear the musica. That's all good. Let me see if it's too loud. Nah, it's fine to me. Alright. Well, let's get this started. So a few settings here, bada bing bada boom. And let's pull the boom. We're gonna need to get some more reagents. That's fine, we'll get to it. Oh yeah, we might as well just go cat form. Speed is more important. Uh oh, uh oh, kekko. Very good start. Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Go for some frenzied regeneration as well. And we have to set this up. Enemy nameplates. There we go. Oh no, you should have just let it let it come to me. Let's get a bit faster. We don't wanna get um webbed by the spiders, that's for damn sure. Nice typhoon. And I think we're handling most of this pretty well. Let's go ahead and free our comrade. Okay, nice immobilizing war. Yeah, let's go. If we can get aggro on this bad boy, that'd be good. But I don't think we can right now. Let's just focus on the mages and have them all go this side. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of people here. Oh no. Worst case scenario, how you doing Shabar? I'm gonna go ahead and change the music, I'm not taking the jazz. Jazz isn't really my cup of tea, I guess. I hold it again. Or web it. Give me some aggro on the big boy. There we go. And I'll change the music. I don't know to what though. Are you gonna make the warrior level 80? Yeah, later, later. Not right now. Right now we're doing a raid, obviously. So I can't do the two things at once. I could if I could multi-box them, but they're legitimately on the same account, so I can't, you know. <laughs> Alright. Where are you from? Deutz? I am from Holland. Straight out of Holland, son. How you doing? Let's just go for Zelda and chill. Honestly, I kind of like those remixes. They're very nice. And they usually autoplay into some good stuff. There we go. That's better. Alright, let's go for Mala. Let's pop the Zinagosa trinket. Soak up some of that elemental damage. We're gonna lose aggro on the servants. That's gonna happen. Can't do much about it. As long as people interrupt them, it's all good. Somebody is gonna pull more. Okay, no, the rogue is doing rogue things. That's very good. No, no, I can't get aggro. I don't want to get too close and pull the damage. What I can do is line the side him. Get him over here. Hopefully make it so that we don't pull the sides. But we are fucking with the rogue right now. Like if they finish a cast and the rogue is like right underneath him. He's gonna be in a in a half a pickle there. You guys got that right. It's been a little while. I kind of felt like, you know, we're not going to be raiding so much with 
to balance the sanity, like this week at least. Like, we haven't laid as much with them at all. We, we missed main run, we missed second run, this is third run, right? So I figured I should put on a tank. And what tank is better than the Papa? Let's lower this a little bit. And is that gone? Yep. Alright, should be fine, right? Guys, in chat, what do you think? Is it fine? I can't hear what you hear, so... Hit me up! Hit me with your best shot! Fire away! It's funny how 90% of you won't even know that song at all. It's kinda sad. It's too old. You guys are too young. You're like blossoming flowers. You're not quite there yet. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's get absorbs and healing here. Damage there. Slide these bad boys down a little bit. That's beautiful. There we go. Yeah, let's hop into Discord. I forgot to do that. We just uh, change the volume a little bit. Where did I do that? Hmm. Okay, let's just hop in. You motherfucker. There we oh. go. <laughs> Logan. Output volume, there it is. Alright, lower that a little bit. What the fuck? Alright. What the, what's going on? Yes, I am. Oh, he was turning around. But... Now we wait. Let's get some summons if we can. <coughs> yeah, this guy's in Dalaran, this guy's in Stormwood City, Guns and Roses. Let's get him in here, man. Besides that, we got. Ah. See you to summon. So, Hunter, Hunter, Priest. Let's go. When will you be able to raid on Frostmourne? In one and a half week, they're gonna open up Naxamas. I need to get a guild before that. But first things first, let's get the warrior to level 80. Let's have a little bit of fun on him. Maybe do a little bit of a zero to hero raid. Uh, get some professions on that bad boy. Like, what days? Oh, like that. Um, I'm gonna have to see. I actually don't know. I just totally wasted a potion. I don't know what days I'll be uh, able to raid yet. Are you guys? We're just gonna have to see, dude. The best case scenario would be if it was a different raid time than Balance Insanity. So that we can do the Frostmourne raid, I can wait, I can chill a little bit, right? And then do the Balance Insanity raid. Or of course the other way around, that works too. Okay, he's summoning the Vishka. And that's everybody. What do you think of Varian's Fever Flow from TOGC 25 for Frost Decay? I never used it. I've seen some people use it. Um, I don't know. I actually don't know. What I do know though is that we need the Sindragosa's Flawless Fang. And is there anything else? Nah, fam. Sindragosa's Flawless Hello, Fang, guys. heroic. Guys doing just fine. Um, sorry for the stocking, you can't trade me now. That's it. Um, your flask. Let's go ahead and trade oh, you. you Sit up. I'm also playing my life. Uh, I'll be. Do you have some tank flask? Uh, nah, I can go get some. No. Uh, JK, I got two gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't trust Tabi. His viewers always give him gold. Yeah, but yeah, I have to relog, and that takes too long. So it's better off if Post you just give me gold. What are you saying, Sue? Go take some tank flask. Oh my god, nope. Also, or, or, or I'm gonna mine as a tanky. I don't have gold. <laughs> oh my god. But I can give Go some Go take gems. some action as if you don't like it. Like, seriously. Uh, I don't know. No, There's no. the HP cookies inside. Summon me, please. That's interesting. 
I shave him. There we go. Gotta respect that warlock. If he's summoning, yeah, he's you better got... stop your summon and help that warlock. It's his stone after all. Which would be the most entertaining, Just not boring healer that does many things and not only spam one or two spells. Um... I'd say it's a shaman. You can do a lot on the shaman with the few spells that you have. Hello. Hello. Alright, I'm Hello. just gonna have to accept this. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm as for flask guys. LOL. Hello. <laughs> Maya, stop it. I will send you one No, I'm not arranging right now. Uh, I will send you Is there a Mr. Fish in the right? Uh, let me go ahead and write yes, it down on my notes. Put some fish. Oh no, I accidentally deleted it. Oh, that's Anybody really got fish, guys? Come on. Bonus the keepy. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Give later some uh, DK, black 50. Let's see here. By the way, did he give them show up? No, that's your job. I'm not, not my, it's there not my job. Ah, low, I was busy. I thought I just give them. How? Is that Galadina talking? No, no, no. Now we got uh, CU as an officer here. We got Kim. Okay, this the power fix. Okay, give this guy. And that's but why can you hear it right now? And you can give him? Oh, fuck or him? Off, dude. I'm um, not supposed to be hearing it right now. Change it to a roy. Hold on. Who is with that? Change it to a Fucking eights. No, no, no. 40 gold each. Okay, Box. let me try this. Jesus, Darky, are you here? Okay, uh, he's eating, I think. Thanks for the membership, Andon Petrov. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to the Raider tier. Okay, let me know if you can steal oh, your player. Discord now. Of course I am. I wanna fucking shoot myself. I wanna fucking shoot myself. Ah! Why? This, this makes no fucking sense, dude. Let me give the kid an idea. No nice. fucking sense, wait. Oh, this is the most annoying fucking shit. Oh no, work, bitch. Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? Why, 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 Bane, what are you missing? Wait a second. Albi? Oh, and no. why the fuck are you human DK? Dude, I'm stressing so much. Why is it not working? Okay, if you can be Jane and you're asking for one. Listen to that. You're, That's true. You're not getting it. You can literally change it. You can change your race to Drenna. This is so Drenna. stressful, why is it not working? And bring it for the raid instead of Fuck. asking for it every single night. I'm going to fucking... I'm going to stress so hard because No, you have Drenna, I already checked it It makes no sense. Yeah. Okay, I'll check it later. You're just gonna have to deal with no sound at all for now. <sighs> Dude, why, 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 why aren't you working? It's the same fucking settings as I had the entire months, all those months. Why aren't you fucking working, man? Oh, this is so frustrating, like infernally frustrating. Like I can't explain how frustrating this is, man. I can't explain it. There is no reason for it not to work. The settings are fine. The settings are fucking fine, dude. Well, let's get that demoralizing roll up. No, it's not fine now, because you can't hear the game. You can't hear the game, right? If you can hear the game right now, I'm just even more fucking stomped. 
I just don't know what's going on if you can hear the game right now. Oh my fucking AIDS has just gone to a new level. Alright, can you hear anything now? The game. Can you hear Bone Storm? Can you hear Mango? Can you hear anything but me? Like, chat, I need you to help, dude. I'm going to fucking lose it if you don't. No. Okay, thanks. Now I can't fix it. Makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Let me double check this score. Okay, wait. And now? And the game? Can you hear the game? Game and music, no discord. I just... Literally, you know what I did? I toggled through the sound. I didn't change anything. I toggled through it. I went from old speaker to new speaker to how it should be. And oh my god! Oh, just don't think about it. It works. It works. Relax. It works. It works. It makes no sense, but it works. It's all good. Oh my god! Windows, dude. I. All right. I'm right side. Let's just. It works. That's all. That's all. That's good. It works. That's all that matters. Oh Jesus. Whew. Okay. There we go. That made no sense, man. No sense whatsoever. Oh Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I'm chilling. Like, dude, it just makes no sense. No sense. I told you right there what happened. I swapped sound channels, right? All I did was I went into the settings. I went from one to the other, like, back to what it already was. And now it works, like... Totally makes no sense. Makes no sense. Oh my god. Is infected wounds really necessary on Drew Tank? I'd say it is, yeah. Like, what would you take over it? Improved mango, maybe? Alright, let's get rid of Drew Buff. Uh, maybe Ferocity, maybe Expertise that you don't need because you're already capped with legs and chest. Like, what would you take? Maybe something here? And now nah, that's not enough points. Physical damage here is good, but you need more than three points to get there. And there's nothing else. Maybe less rate damage? 3% less rate damage? I don't know. Like, the thing is with Infected Wounds is that if it's already applied, you don't need to apply it, that's absolutely true. But if it's not applied, then all of a sudden, you need to apply it, right? It slows down the Valkyrs, it slows down melee attack speed, for example, in these ads. I'd say that's good. It also helps for the big ad in the Sanctum, I believe. So that's pretty songs. Let's stun him. Warlocks are actually pretty dangerous. I don't think I stunned him. Not JK then. Alright. Hmm. 
Can I get this? I think I'm, please. Okay, they got him. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Let's go. Let's get some lacerates. Get ready for the taunt. Taunt her while she still has the shield up. Give you a few seconds. It'll give your hunters and rogues a few seconds to react to. Rixio on 86. Thanks for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. And let's move it down a little bit every now and then. Get it away from the melee. Okay, good. This is fine. What? And Mulu 66, thanks for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. Let's not go ahead and use any mangles or um, what is this? Malls in the meantime. Another one, George Jurkovic. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. Appreciate it, man. All right, good. Let's see if we can pop this. Actually, we should have popped Berserk a lot earlier to make like all the threat in the world. Yeah, I can deal a lot of damage here on these ads with the uh, with the mall mangle swipe combination. We're dealing a ton of damage, but it would have been better to use. Um... Whoa! All right, somebody just exploded all the spirits in the known universe. Oof. That's not very good. Let's go again. Not sure who ran into the spirits. I didn't have the food buff either. Like I really gotta... I gotta like just chill a bit. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. That all happens sometimes on Lady Death Whisper though. And that's why the fight is <coughs> actually plenty eight. Because it goes from a clean fight to just absolute madness in half a second, right? Give me a healer to innervate. There we go. Alright, let's do my own job better this time. Because I can. Flask up here too. Go for the small mark of the wild. What time are you doing the, the alliance run on Monday? It's at oh boy, six server time, eight p.m. Central European time. Can you recommend me a full tank spot guide? I'm new pot pilot tank. I don't use the guides myself, so I can't recommend any of them because I haven't seen them. You know, I would say tank spot is the place to be for uh, guides in general for for uh, World of Warcraft. Tank spot has always had very good guides. I've used them in the past as well when I was preparing for Old War way back in 2016 when it you know was fresh on uh, warming. I also use tank spot. They are very good guides. But like I said, I can't recommend any of them because I haven't seen them. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to look a bit through that yourself. I'm working on a few videos at the moment. One of them is about... It's another Let's Talk About. Another is gonna be just a quick clip of my reaction to that drums first. That's that's gonna uh, like at least give me 1k views. That's easy money. <laughs> right? But yeah, I'm gonna make a Protection Paladin guide after my incoming projects. Right. So it's incoming. For the people that's been asking for a while. Give me a few months. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Maybe one or two months. Like you know I'm not the fastest uh, editor. I constantly second guess myself in terms of... Uh, 
in terms of production quality, in terms of scripting, in terms of so many things. I, I, I question, I second guess myself way too much. I guess I could have cycled him. There's two booming stuff. I guess I could have helped. Yeah, I should have helped. Let's get a rip there and let's go for ads. Oh shit. Alright, they're nice towards the middle here. I don't have aggro on this bad boy though, but I wouldn't say that's my fault. If you're a melee and you focus down the fanatics, then you're really just crazy. You should go and focus down the spellcasters. Opa! <laughs> I got all the CC. The rogue got uh, killed a second time. Just barely got the taunt off there, but I don't have any aggro. Because of that uh, CC. Alright, let's take her to the middle. So many parries, Jesus. Very bad. Very bad luck. Alright. Let's get away from that melee right there. And work our way towards the first spawn of ads right here. The spirits over there. We wanna keep a good eye out on the spin. Oh Jesus, melees. Alright, we're good. Let's not pull it too far towards the wall, that way range DPS is gonna be too stacked. And let's end let's have him enter the meat grinder right here. This is really good. Uh, we need salvation on Joshua. Or just another wave of MD. No. Refresh the MDs. He's shield wall. Melee spirits. Alright. Could you guys hear Discord right there? Let's interrupt that. Like. Uh, Colesmus, can you soul shatter? Colesmus, soul shatter. Colesmus, soul shatter. Uh, Melee spirits. Melee spirits, my HP, can you salvation one on run? Let's use a uh, cooldown here. And let's make our way towards the other side where the spirits are going to spawn. That's a rough spirit. That's, that's bad luck with the movement right there. Let's go ahead and interrupt her. Wait, we got salvation? Oh my god, he salvated me. Oh, you salvation on me. What a monkey. Who you salvation on me, man? Oh no. Like, aggro was already really rough, but then I got a salvation on me. Like, who did that, man? I'm at 0%. He, he got the MC and is at the bottom, just guided. Yep. Try to kite. Mind control soon. Spirits, watch out. Oh man. Oh man. To see if choosing a proper class to tank. Yes, but. I would have been I would have been better on a tank with a bit more aggro. Can I solo this? No, there's no way to it. It's no way man. Not happening. All in tank best tank. Which tank has the best aggro? I asked for salvation, the main tank. I asked for HP salvation as well, not for yours, man. Like everything about what you just did was just a big troll. But I have no G kicks a bit much too. Like I don't know. Like they want to G kick him for the for the salvation. Like I, I, that's fair. It is a very dumb fucking mistake. But it's it's. it's oof. It's a lot for, for, yeah. 
I don't know, it's up to them. DK Tank has the best aggro, I would say. But if a Paladin has a Havoc and proper MDs, proper setup, oh my god, I don't have a fair money. I'd say a Paladin can definitely contest with the Death Knight. If you get a little bit lucky, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, what? Bruh. I need 12 gold for a pair myself. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm gonna sell Corroded Skeleton Key just to repair. We're all fucking broke, man. Wait, where did my where did my weapon go? Oh, that makes sense, right? Because I got mind controls. I thought I sold my weapon. <laughs> okay. Let's give a gems. Got gems, but no money. I don't take two gems. <laughs> oh man. Where's Elidian? Alright. We're well fed. Let's get the buff up. Off tank always faced issues grabbing aggro off me as a bear. Buff. Yeah. And you know, I've seen Mage bears buff. that are Twice able to keep up with my aggro Infish. on a pot paladin as well. <clears throat> while at the same time I'm able to keep oh, but up. Give yourself the druid buff. Okay, I got it. Um I'm able to keep up with the DK's aggro, right? If the Druid tank gets fed a steady supply of rage, it doesn't get parried too King much because is that is the big part, right? What's your full, what's your HP with buffs? I'm at 84k at the moment. I'm not having commanding shout yet, but let's say 86k with commanding shout. Um, if the Druid tank gets fed all the rage in the universe and doesn't get parried. Because like I said, that's the big uh, that's the big problem of a druid tank. If your 18k mango crit gets uh, parried, then that's a lot of stonks that you're missing. I have to be a bit careful because I'm running Glyph of Maul. So I can't just uh, kill my friends here, you know? Anyway, let's get the mangle up. Commanding shot, please. Go for it. Go for it. There we go. Turn Give the fanatic man. away from the players. Mind control C. Interrupt that. What? He was locked. I interrupted him. How was he casting? Those are Finish some, that. Some lies. Finish that. Come on. Okay. Can you stop cleaning the mini, please? Thank you. Okay, four mind control in a row. You see the hunter fucking Starfall gonna kill me. I'm this. Okay, this is a much better opening this time. With the five stacks of Lacerate, I'll be able to pop my Berserk. Millis, uh, range is clear the mid. Right here. If you really want to have a big ball start, if there's enough Please, time to the point where you can get a Savage War right up, before you get aggro, Remove you can weapon. make a lot of threat. But yeah, you see how terrible the parry situation is here. It's really rough, man. Melee spirits, watch out. Coming some range. Let's go ahead and stun that boom boom. Spirits, watch out. And we might want to just... Maybe interrupt the boss. Okay, good. Maybe. It's melee, watch out. And see, in my opinion, the best case scenario for the off tank right here is to still be making as much aggro as he can. I'm gonna get these stacks, the touch of insignificance, that. right? That's why I'm having issues with threat. The tank, off tank, he doesn't get that. The off tank should be able to outfight the rest of the raid in terms of aggro. Or at least get, get to like 80 70%. Where we can just pop 
a uh, a wave of misdirections on the off tank. And even when I do inevitably I lose my aggro, behind. which I will, Strange. the off tank the should be ready to pick mall. it up, right? That would be my preferred way of doing this. Of course, that's very uh, very off tank heavy. Not a lot of off tanks. Wanna try that hard? Coming to some range. Finish it. All right, it's finished though. Just finished. And like you see, it's not exactly necessary unless you're uh, you're gonna go for a longer fight. We hear Discord again. Nani. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't hear Discord, right? I'm gonna put the tea on my face. This scolding hot tea. I'm gonna put it on my fucking face. This is so goddamn illogical. Fucking Windows update, man. And they got a new one queued up for me. What a nightmare. Swips. Let's go. Oh, we got the wildest there right now. Man, I didn't take a shower tonight. Time is money, friend. Be good. Is Iki is Ikivirus bis for Feldroot? Yes. Yep, I'm using Ikivirus. Ikivirus with the legs. And you get expertise. Well, you're not G kicked, right? So it's fine. I don't think you got G kicked anyway. No. Nah, you're fine. Okay, so. I guess I'm jumping. Uh, Zachka, do you want to stay in the ship and I'll hop over? Yes. Okay, do it like that. Is Fire Mage still the best DPS on the server? I watched your top DPS video. Yes? Oh no! Oh, I just barely equipped that, holy shit. It's still the best DPS on the server, but the thing with Fire Muggles is that it fucking sucks to play. I do not enjoy it anymore. The RNG nature of it just makes me want to commit Sudoku. It is such a fucking boring spec that is completely RNG reliant. There's no, there's nothing fun about it. And I want to enjoy it because the damage is massive. You know, in the right in the right situation, you can get a lot of damage. But man, I don't like playing it anymore. Like after playing every single DPS pack in the game, I can I can promise you that there is nothing more bullshitic than a fucking ETW mage not getting crits for 20 seconds. You're gonna feel like you're not doing your job while you are, you're just getting bad RNG. And that is the worst feeling in the game. When you know that you're getting fucked by RNG. 
if it goes well, it goes well, and it's fine. It's honestly, at Lich King, I don't mind playing it, it's just every other fight where you're just standing still and you're not doing a damn thing. No mana management, no area of effect to worry about, it's so boring, man. You're just sitting there, passing one, hoping for two to appear. It's so frustrating as well. But yeah, I played it uh, not too long ago, you just check that VOD and you'll understand. Maybe. Maybe you'll think I'm a big old crybaby. Oh, you didn't get the RNG that you need? Cry harder, bro! You could think that. You know? It's fair, if you do think that, it's fair. I was crying pretty hard, but... It's just because it's no fun. But I made it, Obby, and I like it, and you suck! That's fair, dude. You suck more than I do. <laughs> right? Please lower the music a little bit. Alright. How about that? I lowered it a smidgen. What's the best weapon for a Fennel tank? Well, you got the Oathbinder in terms of aggro, but you have the Wrathful Gladiator's Great Staff for sheer tankiness. Right? Do you see the differences here? Uh, let's hop over real quick. Uh, hello, 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 hello. What the hell? What the hell? Come to me, baby. Was the, what, did I miss the taunt? But yeah, you can see the differences in them, right? You've got more DPS on the old binder, but you've got less stamina. So that's the whole big difference there. What's with that movement? First time I see it. Oh, he just goes back and forth because he's dumb as hell. <laughs> like... This is really good. Oh my god. I should have jumped a bit earlier. That was on me. Let's get him up. This fight is so buggy and warming. Yeah. If we don't get banned for bug abusing the uh, the whole of it, I'll probably get banned for abusing that little movement right there. But I like it so much that I'm not gonna stop. I require a mammoth. There's the mammoth. Okay, let's quickly get some of that reagent that I need. What is that reagent? What is my reagents, guys? Well, it's... oh fuck. Okay, someone else is just gonna have to buff. as fuck. Let's get that. Let's go ahead and get the demoralizing shout. One more mango. And that's a really shitty berserk. There's a good chance I'll pick up aggro now and that's not what we want to do. But the Paladin tank is holding in there, and I'm out of rage. Oh, that's all good, actually. Alright. There we go, let's taunt. The demoralizing shout here. And let's see if we can stun this thing, it's coming to us. We don't want to get hit by that. Don't please, keep bro. Is FFB good for beginners? Yeah, I'd actually much more prefer to play FFB over uh, PTW, but 
BTW is just a little bit better. But FFB feels a little bit less RNG aligned, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the increased damage over time elements to it. Maybe it's just because I played FFB for like a lot longer than I have TTW. I'm just like a little bit nostalgic about it or something, I don't know. I do 7.8k DPS on my FFB. On my Roy Gummy, send some double bonus, no haircuts, no AC, not shit anymore. I feel like it's low. 7.8k at burst or 7.8k at 500k? There's a big difference, right? 7.8k at 500k, that's fine. 7.8k at burst, that's not fine. The longer the fight goes, the more clear you'll be able to see just, you know, what your actual damage output is. From full, ma from full mana to zero. So at least 100k DPS in. Or like, a, let's say at least 200k in. I mean, I don't know how much damage you exactly did, but 7.8k without any kind of buffs is not that horrible, man. One point ten mil. Yeah, seven point eight K at one point ten mil is fine. I screenshot your interface options. Is this the interface options you're looking for? Is this it? Remove the rocket ass. Well if Kubi says it, then sure. He gives me money. He's sugar daddy. So I'll move it in a bit, Kubi. Camera. What is that? Camera. Here. Here, this thing. Now let's get hooked. There we go. Oh, so don't remove it. Okay. Well, if Kubi says so, then. Let's go. Alright, let's do an AWE taunt. And let's get the Plague Scientist. Let's get him minus sided, you know what I'm saying? Got enough damage to just AOE those down. It's always good. Alright. Unfortunate Hellicane. Let's see if we can stun this so it doesn't cast that anti magic bullshit. Explain this to you, Kiko. Let's see if I can show you. I can't. Basically, you can set your experience from 0.5 to times 7. In between that margin, you have a few options to choose from. I think it's times 1, times 3, times 5, and then of course times 7, and at the bottom you have times 0.5. So that's all that's the only thing it means. You can just set your own experience rate, you can play how you want to play it. Do you want to play it at times 1? You can set that, you know? How do you do so? You right click your experience bar, and then you get another little menu. That's how you do it. Because at the time, Podlay, I was in the same guild as him, and I was better than him at the game, and he got really fucking sa salty because of this. That's why I'm in that video. But, you know, that's fine. I support content creators. I'll pull that second doggo. Uh, 
Alright, this is a bit of a mess, this pool. But let's see how it goes. Ah, they're dying, they're dying. Let's make sure that I have an AoE taunt for these little zombies, so they don't snipe somebody. Oh! I'm dead. Is Zasha there? I think Zachka is there. We still have both tank, it's fine. We got that. You can play on 0.5 XP? Yeah, that's, that's, that's just masochism. That's not hardcore, that's masochism. So yeah. We had a few people die, but we got the BPC, that's done. Dead. What? You mean Noob Zachka for not taunting my stacks? Dude, I've survived with 10 stacks for like a minute. Yeah, not with a tactician and a, and a commander and that, all that shit for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I actually have aggro, Boston. All I'm you. hearing is our excuses. Yeah, aggro oh. is the good excuse, man. <laughs> It's actually a little easier to level that way. You'll be over here for level. Yes, but it's also gonna take 14 times as long. Alright, we got that plague scientist. It's just that one. Jesus, Sergey. <laughs> That's pretty hardcore, dude. Let's not have that false decay die. He's doing a lot of damage here. Straight up pulled aggro. can do every single RDF, every single dungeon, at least twice. At least twice. Let's clap that bloated boy's cheeks right there. Let's get in there. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I'll try, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can you at least not let other people die? <laughs> Hold on, should I res him? Zashka, you can, you can taunt, I'll res. Nice. No, 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 I'll do it, please. Yeah. Here it is. No? There we go, big stinks. Oh, it took too long. Three people agreed. <laughs> Don't accept, dude. Okay, accept now. Oh shit, I forgot to stop. Oh. What a mess. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Alright. Do some damage. Look at all this DPS. That's malleable. No 
Oh, wait, we get pluses? If you're top yes. one on oh, DPS, yes. What if I take a yeah. valuable? The warlock was the first on it. No, impossible. DPS. It's... Alright, what do we got? We got a rip. How many stacks? Oh, he already did the thingy. Alright, we can just AFK with the two stacks. Let's go for the bark skin, just to be safe. And another rip. Shit. Let's make sure we don't lose the mangle, if anything. Yeah, this is warriors. It's all warriors, man. Let's see what we did. Oof. Oh yeah, 7k. Almost out DPS the boomkin. That's not very good. <laughs> How did she die there? Did she get crit? I think I have too many stacks from Precious and Tactician and everything on top of me. That's like what killed me at the ad spot. It's all good. What is good? Everything is good. How are you doing, Magic Gaming? Hope you have a wonderful day, of course, man. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll be on boss. Drop that fat mango. Quickly buff the Magus. Your new Scala looks like a meter from 1991. Do you like it? I made it a bit longer. You know, I got the RAM first, my penis grew, so did my damage meter. That's how it works. Alright, get that 10 rage. I'm not gonna let anybody die this time. This is some dumb shit. There we go. in front of the boss and drop that nice berserk get some nice threat right here i'm on phone the screen is small i barely see shit um i'm using organ normal and syndra has flawless fang normal so yeah i need some better trinkets man the rest of the gear is fine I need the, the bracers from POGC though. But yeah, besides that, just trinkets and I'm good, man. I'm already like 6.4 at this point. Trinkets is the only thing holding me back from 6.5. You think the bear, the bark skin glyph works for PvE? I don't know what that glyph is. That's definitely a PvP glyph. Lose this no, no, you don't need that, dude. Um, first of all, bosses only have like 6.5% crit. And the second thing is that you're already crit capped. Right? You don't need any defense rating on a bear. You, you get it natively from your talent tree, like somewhere over here or some shit. But loses the chance you'll be critically hit by melee attacks by 6%. Oh, you don't need it. 
Blades from Ruby Sanctum 25 are much better, except they're not. The issue with those lasers is that they don't provide hit rating. If I want to have hit rating and also take the armor necklace, then I'm going to need... Okay, let's pull it back here. Melee will stay behind. If I want to use the armor necklace from this guy, from Rotface right here, I'm going to need hit somehow. The way to get hit is to get the TOGC bracers. The TOGC bracers have two gems, therefore making the TOGC bracers give more stamina than Umbrage. So besides the hit that you need to get more armor from the neck, you also get more stamina just because there's two gems in the TOGC bracers. They're 100% best in slot. They are absolutely best in slot. It's an undisputed fact. I'm usually not so much about best in slot uh, lists and whatnot, but this makes a lot of sense. Where is it? Bracers of Dark Determination. Yeah, it's the double gem that makes it worth. If it only had one gem, it wouldn't have been this worth, but the double gem is so good, man. Can I ask you how you hit your maul twice? I'm using Glyph of Maul. I'm using that instead of Taunt, which you can cover up from the hit with Enchant on feet and hands. Well, you get 100. Uh, well, you get 800. You, you get 885 armor from the hands enchant from engineering, and you get nitros from the engineering boots. So I really can't cover for the hit. If you don't have engineering, then I guess you can. Yeah, I would probably still go with the heavy Borean armor kit to provide me with 18 stamina on both parts. Oh yeah. I think I'll stick to this. The TOGC braces are gonna be an absolute yikes to get though. I got bopped back. I'm going leatherworking and jewel crafting for more stamina. Yeah, I get that. Uh, leatherworking is not a bad idea for the resistance as well. Bears are very squishy to magical damage. So having that big resistance... You've got the fire resistance for Halion. You can get the shadow resistance for Ditch King. It really does. It, it's a big difference. So yeah, letter working definitely has some merit as well. But if you got the engineering, then the TOGC lasers, yeah, it's pretty much a must-have with engineering. There it is. Good. What's up, Pao? How you doing, man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Magic Gaming? You jamming? Of course it's good, man. Of course. Yeah, as long as you have 6.5 and 2 professions, and your, your, your caps that you need, I would say fuck best in slot lists, right? Like I said, I usually don't care about best in slot lists, because as long as you have your stat priorities covered, you got your expertise, you got your hit rating. Alright, I'm doing A-bomb. Um, yeah, as long as you got your armor, hit, expertise, it's all good, man. Yep. Yeah. As long as you hold on to, like, exactly that, Collins, like, just the Healthy priority list of stats. The exact pieces don't matter. The only thing that matters then is just the playstyle. Let's get a mangle up and then quickly drink. I'm fucking bugged. Bonk. I'm bugged. How are we gonna do this? Maybe. This spell, this spell, I retake. What do you mean, bug? I can't click my spells. 
Okay, I'm retaking. Alt out. tab out and alt tab in. Uh, alt tab out of the game and alt Someone tab else in. took the potion, I think. Maybe? No? Okay, let me try someone one. Someone to drink. <laughs> someone to drink, please. Stop DPS. Stop DPS. Stop DPS. Okay, dispel. Not completely. It does not work, dude. Someone else gonna I have to take it. it. I will take it. Go, permanently. Go take it. Stack everyone. Don't, Don't push touch the boss. the boss, guys. Don't touch the boss, please. Permanently, just drink. Even in... Uh, just slow the greenos in transition, okay? Guys, finish those. Come on. Boss Okay, let's be a mangle bot. That is so unfortunate. Oh my god, what a bullshit man. Oh man's got a lot of ooze to bring, that's for damn sure. Uh, don't get blown into that huge fucking bottle. Mage almost got blown into the huge fucking puddle. Alright, we might be able to just get back to uh... Mage again. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Come on, finish it. Good. Alright, we might be able to be able to do this. Alright, let's get the mangle up quickly. Oh my, what a mess. That bug is really unfortunate. Like, I know people say it has something to do with the form, but I wasn't in the form there. I, was, I made sure I was out of the form and with my global cooldown fixed and my hands not pushing any buttons when I transferred. When I transformed. I don't know why it happens sometimes. It's a pity he could be minus. I can't do anything about it. As far as I know, all the stuff that people say that, you know, that can mess it up. As far as I know, I didn't do any of the cardinal sins. So to speak. You know? As far as I know. I don't know why that happens. But we're handling it. The rogue picked it up. He's being an absolute legend. It would really help. It would really help if we were a bit closer to the big puddle. Can we position a bit closer to the big puddle so the sl small ones are closer? We can maybe drink a bit more like that. Still fun. Guys, uh, keep the in the. Like, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna stand right here. My DPS sucks ass anyway. Come on, slime puddle here, bitch. No, not double. I don't help. Well, mangle this fast. This is like PP Mythic, man. Half the room. Man, that's so lucky with the Warlock. That is so lucky with the Warlock right there. God damn. That is really lucky. And look at that puddle. It got handled. Good job, Rogue. That was just some quick thinking. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Let me get the Moralizing Roar up. Uh, just go for main and then. Same oh, for me was in ten heroic. Yeah. It's game problems, I guess. Not it's problem. several main problems. Fucking retard. Fucking I'm talking in three, Malibu. two, one. Malibu, Malibu, watch out! Me, this Alabar body hunter. As far as I know, I did everything I could to prevent that from happening, but I don't know. Uh, don't worry, for me, same. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good, man. 
Legend. Do you have any guides where you can show your macros? All my macros are in here. You go to the Discord, you hold up a little bit until I give you a hole. You have to be online in order to get the hole. In macros, you click on pinned messages, and then you have all my macros here, right? If there's some missing, you just let me know, and I'll get them in there ASAP. Yeah, in terms of macros, bears are probably the least in the game. Like in, like they don't, they need the least amount of macros. You've got what I like to use: um, taunt and shift modifier for AOE taunt. I shift modified some of my spells as well here, but um. I mean, I got my weapons on my bars right here. I've got a completely superfluous Tabard of the Lightbringer. I guess it's not superfluous, it's just an, an unnecessary Tabard of the Lightbringer right there. I've got healing spells that I never use on Shift 1 to 5. Like, I never use these spells. <laughs> and they're on some of my most important keybinds. There's just not that much spells to uh, the macro or whatnot. You can get a bot that, that gives you the manual rolls, like the automatic rolls. No, I don't like that. I really enjoy waking up and seeing that there's 10 people right there. Yeah? Why do you guys don't, I mean, like... Uh... There is a use, I mean, isn't it good like if you macro cancel all under salvation with tanks? Yeah, I guess, I just never thought I needed it. <laughs> like, I mean, for misclicks like that, it can be useful. Yeah, but then again, might as well get a, like, if, if what, you know, like, slot more like that, it just shouldn't happen, really. Yeah, I mean, it's misclick, but not... Maybe the guy wanted to be useful and give you a sack, but... I mean, the only place I have uh, Salvation Chaos Aura is uh, for my Paladin. Mm -hmm. The Protection one for zero buff. Yeah, that I makes use sense. Salvation as a cooldown and then cancel it. Yeah, that okay, makes okay. sense, but... Yeah, true. That's fine. Uh, so, um, two will be... Uh... Alright. I'll take Kalisat. Why is Fel Tank doing so much damage? Oh, you should see Collins in the 10 normal. Like, that man goes full armor penetration gear, you're gonna see him crit like 25k mangles. Like, I've seen Fels do 10k, 12k DPS. It was 35k. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and boof. Let's do it. Let's take Kalaset a little bit to this side. Make sure that we don't fuck anyone over with our Empowered Shock Vortex. And the thing about Druid as well is that, you know, you do have a damage over time in Lacerate. But honestly, the Lacerate is kind of pathetic. Uh, I can't use Maul here, by the way. 
Like, I have Glyph of Maul. I'm gonna be killing my Nuclei. That's kind of unfortunate. No, no, no. Come here. Come here, baby. Come to me. Come to me. And you too. Come to me too. Alright, some Kalisat. Don't use Mangle, you dumb fuck. Alright, let's move it a bit. Or don't use Maul. Right. Nah. Survive. He's good, right? Yeah, for sure. No. Let's pop a cooldown. Uh, HP, sacrifice Batata. Guys. That's not you? salvation, Alo. Yeah, please, no salvation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just gonna give you PS. I can switch. Yeah, yeah, I think I need PS. Just throw it on I me. I gave you, bro. It's on you. It's All right, perfect. To go out. Oh, what oh, the I mean, fuck? Just I got stay, scammed, dude. Just stay, boy. We're gonna soak no, no, no. Out. I'm gonna soak everybody. Hello. Everybody's gonna help me soak. Twee! Everybody's <laughs> gonna help me soak twice. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, I <laughs> oh, man. That's how you do a fucking empowered choke vortex, alright? Or the fireball. That's how you handle it, guys. You just use the shock vortex. <laughs> oh, that was good. Alright. Jeez. What a loot. Last Ray doesn't do as much damage. The actual damage comes from your attacks since you have agility and armor pen in your gear built in from your damage boost of course like i was about to say like beer tanks are about like the big bops right paladin tank they got a lot of damage over time you know consecrate on the floor seal of vengeance on the boss and a lot of your threat comes from that as well but beer tank is just like big bops so you're gonna you're gonna see this and you're gonna think like god damn you're doing a lot of damage which, it's, you're right, we're doing 10k damage, right? In AoE uh, situations, uh, like, it's actually a lot, but... Alright. Pop a few cooldowns here, make sure we stay alive in this huge mess. And let's do an AoE taunt. There we go, he's doing 55k. Mm -hmm. I feel like he can do more. I did that one, blinked away from Fireball into a Shock Vortex, landed almost in the same spot. Very nice. The first time I used the Shock Vortex as an actual mobility was uh, on my Resto Shaman. My tank got knocked, right? And I couldn't reach him, but I was like, wait, he got knocked by that Shock Vortex, so if I go into that Shock Vortex, stonks, right? Um, and yeah, it worked. That was one of those moments that I'll always remember about raiding, because I felt like a five brain, you know? I felt really smart. Alright, let the bite happen. There we go. Pull it back a bit. Tier 8 helmet for TK has armor panel. Not sure how I feel about it. Your thoughts? Uh, the tier 8 tank or DPS? Because you don't need armor penetration for tank TK. All your damage comes from icy touches. Or your, all your threat comes from icy touch and wound strike. 
Like, sure, armor band helps a bit, but not more than, you know, good stuff. Or DPS. Well, you shouldn't try to cap your armor penetration at tier 8. But a little bit doesn't hurt. You know, it still helps. If there's a better headpiece that you can get for maybe Yoxoron or General Fezax or... Like, and you don't need 5 out of 5 set, right? You want 4 5. And then your 5th item should be the most optimal item that isn't your set piece. If your legs got hit and your hands got hit and your chest has expertise and your shoulders have crit haste and you don't want the helmet, then don't use the helmet. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah. Yep. We're still doing 7k, like that's pretty good. I thought we were doing much less damage than this. Zap! 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 Moonfire! 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 Rawr! That's how you hold threat in the air. Alright, the Vishka got the bite, so she's no longer a threat on the meters. That's good. Yo, handsome looking motherfucker, how you doing? Hey, Drago Beer. Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. I'm alright. I was a bit stressy earlier, but it's all good. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right side here. Let's give the melees a few more steps. We should try tanking us beer with DPS lingots. Yeah, I wouldn't mind using an SDS instead of an organ. And maybe a DBW. If I can never get my hands on them, I I'll give it a shot. I feel like all of the DBEW procs would do a lot for me, including the haste. Do Druids even get haste? I don't know. But yeah man, if I can get my hands on it, I'll try it for sure. Zoom zoom! Better than mirror work as well. Yeah, but then my gear score would, would go. And they do get haste. So it's haste, agility, attack power on a druid? I think. Oh. Oh, they're just gonna big ball it. That's fair. That is fair. I need to stun this. Save Pixel War. What's the day? What is today? Saturday. Okay. Ace, strength, and agility. No, I don't think it's strength, I think it's attack power. Which is, you know, subjectively better, I guess. But, um, or. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. If it's 700 strength, I still think you're gonna get. Like, don't we skill 1 to 2? Yeah. So, hey, strength or attack power, it would just be the same outcome, really. Strength would benefit from g -Bok. that would be better. Okay, yeah, Strength would be better. But, regardless, it's gonna be 1400. On a bear, it's Strength. Oh, interesting. I've only ever used it on the cat, of course. Oh, that's actually really good. 
Alright. Sounds good, man. The, the, all three of those are worth it. There's not a single bad proc. And that's one DBW is really good. the wars the current content oh yeah you're on uh, white main right yeah, that's good all the wars very fun Ult ultimately at very high end gear a beer ideally switch to dps thing is for more speed events of course i do the same thing on my paladin you know i get a tiny abomination in a jar that fixes my hit rating Giving me more DPS, and it also just straight up gives me more DPS. Like for sure, as a tank, you know, as a pa as a as a warrior tank, you're gonna take some DPS blankets as well. It's not only for just the damage itself; it's also for the threat. Because if you're an ICC tank normal, you don't have two misdirections, you don't have two clicks of the blade, right? Um, what you have is one tricks or one md and that's it if you have a 6.7 fury warrior a 6.9 red pala a 6.5 mage like all these big boys right as a tank you have to do something to keep aggro and that is try hard and that is go for dps linkets you gotta do it in 10 man runs that are speedy you gotta do it that's okay call it's just spam away man that's all right I enjoy your company. I can catch up with leveling. What level are you right now? I'm level 30 right now on the Troll Warrior. <sighs> okay, I'm solo tanking. That's good. I'm about to play the games, watch your video about the best DPS, but in your opinion, what's the hardest role for doing raids? The hardest role? I'm assuming you're experienced, right? So you know what you're doing, and it's still the hardest role. I would say it is dependent on the fight, of course, but you're not gonna like that answer, so I'm gonna say Hunter. But it's just the DPS Abby. Yes, but the stuff hunters have to do is ridiculous. Like they almost have They almost have something to do on every single fight, right? Melgar, they struggle with range, minimum maximum range. Like that's also a thing. On a hunter, you're always you're always struggling. Oh my god. I guess I'll take him. I thought that was the hunter's job. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, hunter is just so annoying. It's not only... Um, it's not only annoying to play, it's also like, legitimately, it has a lot of responsibility, right? Oh my god. It has a lot of responsibility. Uzmina is really on a job to... Uh, he, you know, he's pissed. He got minus and now he's pissed. MD, orbs, dispelling, enrages, ranges, yeah. 
Just the fact that you cannot DPS if you're standing too close to an enemy. Um, just the fact that sometimes you cannot actually DPS because you're too close to the boss or you're too far away from the boss, that alone makes it the hardest thing to play on average. Right? If you look at every other single class, they don't have that bullshit restriction. And if you're unfamiliar with Red of the Lich King, and you're only familiar with um, Shadowlands or BFA or whatever the fuck, you know, I'm not sure in what expansion, but eventually they removed the Hunter's minimum range. So like in Shadowlands, you can just stand underneath Lich King's asshole and shoot an arrow in it, right? That's not the case on Lich King. Or, or in Wrath of the Lich King. Good care. Yep, you're always responsible for aggro, you're always dealing with minimum maximum range, you're, you're dealing with raid preparation. A hunter is the only class that actually has to prepare. But if I don't have symbols, I'm gonna suck at paladin buffing. True, but you're just gonna need to take like 500 more minutes and you're fine, right? Drew buff, same stuff. If there's three druids, then you buff seven people. And everybody has Mark of the Wild. If you don't have arrows... Well... Yeah. Might, you might as well go Beast Mastery at that point. <laughs> like... <laughs> Hunters are just so messed up. They're so inconvenient to play. Hey Sultan, what's up man? Hope you're having a wonderful time. Yeah, just dance if you don't have arrows. Like, the, the occasional raptor strike mongoose bite is not gonna cut it. <laughs> just stay off the Skada. Don't show people that... Just go AFK, it's better. second run for ran out of arrows in the middle of LOD run and I had to trade him some arrows. Yes. And once on a time, we had a person in an LOD run who died, he got battle last, but then his gear was red, so you know, he didn't have any stats. So somebody put a Jeeves so he could repair mid-fight. I think that's actually on YouTube in one of the Royal Flush LODs. And I was saying like, oh yeah, in combat repair. I remember saying that on all the videos. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell me what's the best profession for Magus. You have three options. Tailoring, jewel crafting, engineering. Which of these you want is up to you. You're definitely gonna want to have jewel crafting. But do you want spell power from tailoring prop or do you want haste from engineering? And Nitro Boost from Engineering, that's up to you. I don't think you should get both Tailoring and Engineering. Because you're gonna have Overlapping Enchants, right? Engineering also gives a Cloak Enchant, but that's just my PT, like that's my perfectionism or whatever you wanna call it, kicking in and saying like, hey, this, this makes no sense, logically. Oh, <laughs> right? That's me. I do have a guild, but I don't really do anything with it. It's just so that people stop asking me to make a guild. <laughs> Are you rogues ready? Yes. Let's go, Pauston. This one's for you, Pauston. Alright, big A we taunt. 
Let's get that last one in here as well. Look at that, 156. 156, come on. No. 156. Very nice. Hey Johnny, what's up man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'm alright man. Stressed a little bit earlier in the run, but it's all good now. We fixed it. Hopefully. Alright. In the right here. Where are the unholy DKs? They can't compete in a bursty situation like that. They can absolutely compete in a situation where... Um, the longer the area of effect takes, the better it is for the unholy, right? But... If the situation is very snappy, like that... Blade Flurry Rogues, Mind Searing Priests, Star Falling Boomkins... They're gonna be the ones you're gonna wanna look out for. This aggro, dude. Uh, Collins, do you remember your top DPS on a TLC Valkyr? You know, the twin Valkyrs. I bet you can get some crazy malls off there. I've seen some do huge damage there. No, it's true. It's true, you can absolutely do it. But you need to have a little bit of stuff. If you drop a uh, death and decay, you get your dots up. By the time that you get your dots up, the, the whelps are dead, right? Definitely above 30k. Yeah. Twin Valkyrs on them, man. It's just absolutely broken. It just deals so much damage to them. Alright. I think it's time. We'll see. Is the man... Okay, he's holy. That's good. I'm solo tank, of course. What's the favorite chocolate that you got yesterday? Oh, man. I haven't eaten much of the chocolate. I honestly haven't eaten much of the candy at all. It's still all here. Oh. You see that? Oh, Jesus. It's so heavy, dude. There's still like a lot of candy in there. I did take out the chocolate and I put it in the refrigerator because that's where chocolate belongs. But um, I would say the non-stop, the smarty looking things, they were my favorite ones because I've actually opened that up and I took like a little hand out of it. And then my mother also took like a huge hand out of it. She loved it. I solo tanked DLC 25 as beer. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible, for sure. Commanding uh, shout, please. Alright, we got it. Let's get a few lacerates up. Did you eat the kales out of the window yet? No, no, I think I want to do something special with that. I think I want to do something really special with that chew of wet garbage. That crusted, slimy, sewer condensation. I don't even know what it is, man. It's so gross. Alright, Collins, thanks for watching, man. And good luck at the work, dude. Right. Let's get a nice little fairy fire. 
equal to 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. You see, I wanted to burn the tube, but then Tim talked me out of it, because he's like, you know, it's plastic, it's bad for the environment, and I'm like... Tim, why do you have to be right? So I might do something special with it. We'll figure it out. I might, like, take it to the forest, squeeze it out on a rock or something, and then set it on fire. Directly the paste. It has to be set on fire. That's, like, unhuman, man. I bet if I bring it to my friends, though, one of them is gonna actually enjoy it, and one of them is gonna wanna eat it, and I'm gonna, like, just be disgusted. But, oh jeez, I can get him up. I'm gonna better us Boston. Yeah, stop exploiting okay. the raid, stop casting some channel, oh? Give them hugs, please. Accept it. Alright, burning things is fun. Yeah, but you know, I don't want to hurt the environment more than I already have by existing. I'm not gonna burn the entire tube. I'll, I'll get the paste out and then burn the paste like a like a real responsible YouTuber. <sighs> oh, guys, you gotta think about <laughs> the plan of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man. The mother nature she gives and <sighs> oh shit, man. Oh shit, you, you gotta like think about the environment, guys. That's me. No, but seriously, you do have to think about the environment when you do stupid shit like this. Because there's somebody who's gonna alert PETA, and then PETA's gonna alert the environmental agencies. And then I'm fucked. Nah, uh, I'm fine. We took a lot of damage from that breath. Okay, what the fuck? Can some? I'm, I'm getting beacons. I'm getting beacons. Just finish try it finish, or don't finish, it. Try finish. Try just finish. Try finish. Try finish. Try finish. Just finish. Don't stay and finish. Stay and finish. Nuke the boss. Nuke the boss. Good job. What the? Opa. 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 Rest everyone. Rest everyone. Don't release. Yes, what the fuck? How the fuck? Obi got done. I don't know. I'm checking it right now. How the fuck did I get doomed? Wait, what was this again? There was, uh, you know, when there's like this unknown entity, and the tank is not actually tank. Uh, RG, you don't care about the quest. Or... What the hell was that, man? That was that. Uh, that was a bug, but not as obvious as a bug as you would think it is. It's not, like, actually something to do with Sindra Golsa right there. It's something to do with... With there being an invisible entity that somehow has more threats than the pool, right? Like, it's hard to explain, but basically, if you would have Omen... And you'd have... One on Realm as a tank, Guns N' Roses as the second, Yashua as the third. Then usually one on Realm is gonna be here. And he's gonna set a pull aggro, right? He's gonna set the bar for everybody else. But I was above there. So 
so like yeah it's just uh that's not so good man yeah it's uh it's definitely a weird bug there very very weird but it's fine let's go ahead and buff up and we'll go I don't have tea anymore. Oh no. <laughs> well, you better go hard on the trinket. Yes, yes, yes. I'm waiting for the trinket. I want it. I need it. Can you feel the cold hand of death upon your heart? No. How you doing, Alex? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Then. Alright, where is Elenia? Oh, are you kidding me? Hide, hide, finish the roll, finish the roll. Hoppa. You see, that smiley was all it took. I played so hard on those feelings, man. Hey. Thanks, bro. Very nice. I hope I can actually take it. I might not be able to accept it. Okay. So you can have normal and heroic in your bag. But you can't equip both of them. Very nice, dude. Very nice. What? Very nice. Where are you from? Straight out of Holland. You know it. Can you make a tutorial how to gear up in the fresh level 80? I have made several, several playlists about that. If you check the Zero to Hero streams, then you'll see exactly how I gear up. You can also check the most recent one, Assassino Rogue uh, Gotra, zero to something, where I cheesed the shit out of the gearing system. So yeah, there's multiple ways of gearing, and I've got them all on my channel. They're all underneath the zero to hero playlists, so you can check them there. I know it's a lot of hours, but if you check the start of the video and the end, you'll usually be able to get a decent idea of what we're gonna do and what we've done. Lots of the trinkets. Thanks, dude. I got it. Oh, yeah. Three hard trots, thanks. Appreciate it. Are you fully bis now? No, I will not be fully bis until I get the TOGC bracers, but I also need to get a second trinket. Whether that be the TOGC trinket or perhaps the Ruby Sanctum 25 heroic battle fight twilight scale. Right. Besides that, I'm really close. I'm just super close to best in slot right now. It's all about this trinket. Like, ugh. if I can get, if I can upgrade the trinket, that's enough for me. The OGC bracers is a pipe dream. We'll see if I can get that at some point. I'm not really gonna rush it at all. Remove the rocket. Fine, fine, I'll do it. There we go.
Crystal resistance on trinket help a lot. Do 68 resistance on all schools. Yeah, it's massive. I wouldn't be able to uh, explain exactly how the resistance works. Yeah, I don't think I should assault that Corroded Skeleton Trinket, to be honest. But yeah. Yeah, we're using the Ash and Verdict Ring. The only way that we could get rid of that is to get a different ring with hit rating. Maybe from TOC 10. <laughs> nah, this doesn't have any hit. I... I guess there's the one from Lady Dead Whisperer as well. Take a look. It has no hit rating. So I don't think I can swap this trinket out for anything. Wait, I got the strength ring? <laughs> How have I not noticed this? We gotta swap that up to agility. Lol 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 lol. Ha 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 ha. That's hilarious. Yeah, we'll swap that up for agility real quick. Let's see if there's any of the agility ring users here. More attack power, less strength. Oh no! Do we do that? We lose the dodge rating though. Huh, I'm not sure. Get Harbinger's Bone Band? No. Barry. Love it. Let's get the Moralizing Roar up. And there's the Berserk. Melee has got a move. Go. Let's keep up the lacerate. Necrotic Plague is incoming here in just a second. Yeah, Signet of Twilight could work. That's true. Ruby Sanctum Ring could work. Does the man have Vindication in his talent tree? I don't know. Let's go for the Moralizing Roar. Gotta get one ghoul, mate. Alright, melee's gotta move. Alright, he's got the ghoul. Take one more ghoul, just right now, when they're spawning. Uh, I'm... Oh! Alright. That was me. That was, that's on me for stressing him. That's really unfortunate though. There's one shambling all the way in the back there. You can taunt us for me. Don't clear. Smooth. Fucking smooth. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and demoralizing roar both of them. And we gotta start moving out of it. We're on 2%, we gotta start moving a bit there. Yeah, just move on. Yeah, we're, we're 1%, more. we're pushing him right now. Melee ranges, don't come in front of the shambling. What are you doing, man? Heart attack, bro. I'll be in a red. Uh, oh, I gave two. Permanent, permanent, you do first duty. Major. Okay, he's doing fine. I think Sashka is not that experienced. Fucking hell, what killed him? The Morse is winter. Interesting. Please, so can, can we spam the chain heal? Can we get Zashka to take this raging so I can rest Pixie? No, need. Bad Paladin, better rest Pixie. Alright, Zashka, you're gonna take okay, right? Accept in 
Let's have the melee keep up. That's Evan right there. Take it out a little bit further. Hopefully not get grabbed. That would be super unfortunate. And let's get some infect wounds up. We got the file in a bit. The quick dash right here. That stack was horrible. Really, really bad. Almost lost health here, so I'm, uh, yeah, in this situation. But I'm gonna taunt the stack. boss in three. No, no, no. No? You're good? Yeah. Stack on the left side. Alright. I'm second in aggro. If he's not good, then I got him. Alright, the file. Good. Follow me. We had one little warlock, by the way. So we can just let it fly and he can teleport back up. It's very good. Alright, taking it in 3, 2, 1. Stag on the left. I got soul hit in 2 seconds. Let's go ahead and use big cooldowns for it. Keep the boss. Keep the boss inside of these Valkyrs, right here. Okay, let's pop a few cooldowns here. Very nice. Might lose the mage. Ooh, run, little Magus. Very good. Dude, the stack is beautiful, though. Look at that stack. Let's keep LK in there. And we got one Soul Reaper incoming. Go for some big cooldowns here. And we're gonna keep it out. Just like that. There's some moonfire for your fucking face, bitch. How about that? Alright. Let's position it right over here. Ah. Uh, what the fuck? It's gonna be hard now. I have dog. No, no, my, no, my. I can do it uh, when I when we're inside chamber. Uh, big fat dips. Right, yeah. Oh, wire well, got flipped there on the side. Let's pop a berserk here. Some nice aggro, some nice damage. Nice. Come on, get some, get a few mangles on him. That is such, such a fucking amazing berserk timer. I think I'll do that every time from now on. Yeah, that was amazing. Alright, so who needs okay. my inner? I sit up there and... You have the dog, what the fuck? Hello, why? Save it for that run, yeah. Save ah, it it's on. Healers complaining about innervates. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. When we come out, there's a defile. I'm, I'm gonna come face closer, that raging. Come to this boss. I'm gonna I face mean, that raging ball. towards. Move in front. Here. Move in front. Move in front. Defile soon. Uh. Oh, very lucky with Pixel right there.
keep that raging, link it up with LK. You know, I get the ideas. Do you need me to take it, Zashka? Don't. What the fuck is. Oh, perfect. Just move on. Time to die? No, you're fine. Uh... Alright. No, you're fine. I'll take it when we go out. After, 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 after. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, after. Only okay. after. Okay, I'm gonna use GTS for this. Hi. When are you guys Bloodlust Halo? I think it's in the second phase. I'm not sure. Like, usually that's the standard tactic. Use it on a Valkyrie wave, so that you can get good damage for phase uh, 2. Phase 2 is pretty much the hardest phase, right? So you want to pop heroism there. When the Valkyrs just come, it's good. I would lose stamina if I take Sickness of Twilight over Ashen Band. That's interesting. Alright, let's pop a few cooldowns. Immediately taunt. And let's get ready for Soul Reaper. Alright, just jump and we can soak him. And let's move to the other side there. Just backpedal. Could I be backpedaling is for noobs? No. Backpedaling is fine if that's the required movement speed. Right? It's the safest way of moving anything. Opa! I think he fell. Oh yeah, he absolutely fell. Are you using Cancel Aura for Enrage? No. You don't have to. Um... Sure. There you go. <laughs> if you have the tier 10 force set, you don't have to cancel your Enrage. Because instead of it decreasing your armor and all that other stuff, Instead of that, it reduces your damage taken by 12%. Alright, what's going on here? A lot of bombs, a lot of spirits, a lot of panic. Oopa. Alright, I got some cooldowns for the next Reaper. It's on 1%. It only has to go to 11% and we're done, so... I just asked if it's not the same as DSAC. Oh, no, no. No, you don't have to cancel out the enrage. Um, Druid is really simple when you break it down like that. There's not much to do in terms of macros, in terms of all that stuff. It just don't happen. Alright, let's go ahead and turn off the alert donations again, because childish people are awake once again. There we go, turn it off for a bit. After he goes to bed, we'll turn it back on. Usually after, after 11, he's not here anymore. It's very sad, but that's what happens. What's the name of the track playing right now? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, we can check. 118.45 I think this is Tundra. The one that you were looking for. Let's skip a little bit into it. Like this one, this is Elder Scrolls Tundra.
It's alright, Legend. I play Feral Tank pretty often. So, uh, we'll, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it again, man. Get those Redful Blazers. Redful Blazers, huh? They don't have hit rating, so I don't want them, for sure. Um, where do we see that? Oh yeah, here, here it is. I right, go, go, cat. Bracer, spell power, spell power. I would gain one stamina, but lose all that other good shit. I, uh, nah, I, I don't think I want that. Are you enjoying the munchies? Honestly, it's very good, but it's not like I'm eating candy the whole day, right? I'm just chilling. It's all there in the bag. Um, there's this one really small candy. Like I showed you guys, the zoo. Let me grab my... My candy. I've been really enjoying these things. They're monkeys, do you see that? Like, it's like a monkey, right? Let me see if I can uh, get the focus on it. Oh, it's hard to see, but just trust me, it's a monkey. And these are delicious. But yeah, like, they're still hella full, dude. And they're still hella full. It's gonna take a long time for this entire thing to be empty. <laughs> Ulse binder. Alright. That's not bad loot. Are they like Haribo gummies? No! No, they aren't. By the way, we're gonna go for Ruby Sanctum. So... Yeah, stay tuned for that if you want to see Hobie Sanctum inside tanking. Oh, what's it? Give me 30 minutes with that bag. There's honestly a few things in there that I don't like at all. So... Oh, come on. What? Can't use that here? That's what I thought, you bitch game. Um, let's see. What can you compare those gummies with? It's not Haribo. It's something else. And I can't come up with the name. It was... Um, I had it in high school. It was like a small pack. Oh my god. Yeah, the monkey candy is called Zoo. That's true. That's absolutely true. But I'm trying to compare it with a Dutch... Comparison. Then maybe some people know that thing, but I don't know. You high as fuck? No, not at all. I haven't smoked. I haven't smoked weed in like half a month now. Wow, half a month. Good job. Hey man, it's better than you know, less than half a month. Hey William, how you doing man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. An amazing gift you had. Yeah, good friends. Good friends. Good friends are so important to spice your life up a bit. I have lots of uh, ice cream fudges. Another good shit at my place. Very nice. If you would ever consider doing a candy trade, just hit me up. My friends won't send me Dutch licorice. Oh! Mmm! Dutch licorice is better than Swedish licorice. I'll say that. I'll say that. Swedish candy is very good. Um, I will skip 420. I'm sorry. It's gonna happen. It, it's just a date. It means nothing to me. Um, <laughs> I just lost 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> um... 
the Dutch licorice is much better than Swedish licorice because Swedish licorice is candy licorice. It's not actual salty, you know? It's not, um... It doesn't slap you in the face like licorice should. I will say one thing, though. And if there's a Swedish people in the chat, you can help me. This is the green bag. Um, I put this downstairs with my family and a lot of people ate out of it. And people loved this. But the uh, Swedish people represent. What is this called? It is a very very uh, salty, I think. I think it's called something like Up, up, up and, up and Dungel, maybe? Something like that? If you put this in your mouth, then you immediately, you just get like a shotgun blast in the face. Jungle Frul, yes. Thank you. But in this bag, there is so much zoo. Like, there are so many zoos. This is so delicious. And you've got these thingies as well. They're just so good. But I don't want to continuously eat candy the entire day. I'll do it later. When I'm chilling, watching a movie or something, I'll have a little bit. And then I'll brush my teeth, and then I'll have a little bit more, and then I'll brush my teeth again. I feel really bad when I eat candy and don't brush my teeth afterwards. I don't know why. I prefer the salty one. I've had finished too, but it was so sweet. Yeah. 9k DKP for the maze. Yeah, people want it, man. The candies with different flavors that popped in with liquid inside of them. Oh, that's these. I got I got one open bag on my uh, on my desk, but I haven't been eating those a lot either. It's hard to explain, but when you have this much candy. You don't really feel like eating it. You shouldn't brush right afterwards to be fair, it damages enamel. Toothpaste components with sugars create an acidic uh, pH. Aha. Uh -huh. How about this? I'll eat some candy, I'll wash it down with a beer, and then I'll brush my teeth. Yeah, yeah, we smart boys. We're playing on 1920 times 1080 resolution with white screen. Oh yeah, I gotta zoom out macro. If you go to my Discord right here, you go into the macros, pinned messages, community creations, general gameplay, console, camera, distance, max factor 60. Here, copy that into your World of Warcraft like this. Right? Just drop it in your trap in your chat, hit enter, and then you can zoom out like a legend. It doesn't work in Shadowlands. They removed a lot of the cool shit in Cataclysm. A lot of these console commands. Sadly. Like this one. Console spell effect level. What is that? Console spell effect level 150. Right? They removed a lot of this fun stuff in Cataclysm and it's kind of sad. Do you know maybe why it restarts after some time? Your settings. Yes. Go over here. To your Warcraft folder, right click, properties, remove this. I don't know why people need to do this, because for me it's fine. But you want to remove read only. 
And that should help you save your settings. Wait, by the way, I heard my name. What was that? What? Uh, you guys... Somebody was trying to be a mass genius, the Obi, and the guy said 6 equals 1. I told there is some Obi logic on mass right there. Oh, that's actually just fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the times I've tried math on stream, I would go like divide it by 100 and then do it times 100. You get the same number? It's like, what the fuck is going on here? It's Lord. too hard. <laughs> Usmina, how you died? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some stuff. How can I join your Discord? This is only for members. No, no, no. If you can go ahead and uh, check my description. There is a link. Alright, can you take that? Is there a tank to take that? Uh, yeah, I want to take the other one as well at the same time, but I guess Commander is incoming too, so it's gonna be hard. Uh, I'm gonna pull them. You think we can do Commander and Elite? Just pull everything. Whoa. I mean, we might be able to do well, that in Obsidian hard. Sanctum, but you sure about this? Uh, not really, but let's try. Why All right. Not? Well, someone get a combat dress ready for Yashua. You know that's gonna happen. <laughs> Opa. Good. Aggro is such a bitch right now. Yeah, Mr. Ricardo, how you doing, man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me go ahead and stun this boy. There we go. No commanding for him. Uh-oh. Kekko, I'm about to get fucked. Alright, we're good. Do not, sure, do, do not put AoE taunt on the bars. And devastate, devastate. Yes. Okay, so battle, defense stance in one. Uh, cleave, only cleave, bro. No, bro. Yeah. Bro, don't listen to them. All you need is intervene on the main tank. Spam it. <laughs> Spam it. Trust me, it's, it's gonna be great fun. I don't Yeah, probably Vigilance on Holy DK. Yeah, and Holy DK obviously, or Shadow is better than Holy. Yeah, Shadow should just uh, fucking fade. So, we need the Hunter. I can bring my Survival Hunter. <laughs> Who gonna tank then? My Survival Hunter's pet. I got Turtle, bro. Well, actually, in Advent we plan to tank LOD with the Turtle one. Really? The pet one. Yeah. We should do that. That's hilarious. I mean, you can do it with the turtle pet. Yeah. Like, so Soul Reaper so easily. Guys, I think we need to re enter Chev in this seat. Alright, I'll let them figure out what to do. If they want to do an LOD with turtle tank, I'm 100% down for that. That's hilarious. That would be hilarious. Just did IC25. I had someone take 40 seconds to link. How? That's insane. So everything then we relock. If we get saved on the first mini. Ow. 
Nein, warte mal. Like, how did you even survive for 40 seconds without Link? That's insane, dude. You should give a compliment to your healers. I'm old enough, Trunks, to where I dislike bots. Is the like look we're missing like seven, eight fine, people? Johnny, wait, I'm gonna go pull out the dragon. You're really I mean, sure we can about kill this. the dragon, it's easier. There's one. no MDs and tricks, like, I'm gonna lose aggro for sure. Oh, wait, we can't go, yeah, yeah, let's go kill a dragon actually. Uh, but we can't uh, dispel the damage. No, wrong guys, one. just fine. go out and let's yeah, let's just clear out oh, again. No, man. No, yeah, no. yeah, this is bullshit. They wanted to get saved, so the weird bug where, the, you know, sometimes it's the leader DCs and the instance resets. You gotta go out and back in. They wanted to get saved, so that didn't happen. I want to, like, counter that, but it's a bit much. It's a bit too tryhard for its worth. Oh, we got a we got a healer. It's good. Let's go. Oh, freakus! Bug is so aids, especially when it happens it's nice to see you gotta clear all the ads. So yeah, it's really annoying. It's not that bad in Ruby Sanctum. But like it's just we just gotta clear these one, two, three ads. Like maybe even only this one, and you can do the, the other two later, right? It's better. We're kinda of working around the group here. Let's get that summon stone up. That's good. Let's summon the people. I don't think I have tea left, but we can give it a shot. See if there's anything left in here. Oh! That might be a whole ass tea! That's a whole ass tea! Very nice. I need your guys' help. Is this vanilla or cinnamon? Like, I'm pretty sure it's cinnamon, but it might as well be vanilla. Like, the name doesn't help. Right? It just says no caffeine. Like, what the hell? That doesn't, uh, that doesn't help a lot. And yeah, I should clean my fingernails. I'm sorry. That's cinnamon. Right? Yeah, that has to be cinnamon. Smell it? Yeah, it smells like cinnamon. So that makes absolute sense, right? It's good stuff. If it looks like a brown dried twig or bark, it's cinnamon. Alright. I thought vanilla also looked like brown bark. What is this? Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Wolf, 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 wolf. Dude, he is eating ass. He is just numbing on that booty. Can I please get a screenshot? Yes. Alright, let's not get anybody cleaved. And this. Are you playing retail too? Not right now. Um... 
Maybe if they release some more content, I'll resubscribe, but for now, I feel like it's kind of a scam. Like, you're subscribed for so many months, and there's just nothing new to do. It's so sad. Oh! <laughs> this is eight. Alright, there's the cleave. Alright, this is really rough. I might get blown into oblivion here. Okay, that's fine. I feel like Zachka is a little bit on the inexperienced side, but he's doing very well. Like, for an inexperienced tank. Either that, or he's just drunk as fuck and making dumb mistakes. <laughs> One of the two. Alright, we're safe. Vanilla is darker and longer. Okay. Cinnamons kind of look like hold up a bark for some reason. I don't know. I've always thought it like that. It shows your DPS. Yeah. I'll show you DPS on this boss. I'll try my best. My bestest. Pop the Berserk. It's about 5k for now. She's gonna fly up like a little bitch, of course. Oh no. Uh, Zeshka, can you take boss? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm in the beacon. No, fine. Oh no, 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 like this is fine, this is fine. I need some uh, more MDs. Uh, sorry, so let's just say see you. I'm talking to Justin. Oh. Also, I'm gonna need the salvation on City Mall. about 5.4, 5.5. Oh shit, I did not side though. I did not play hard enough. I'm still out DPSing the hunter though, somehow. Like, what is that all about? Yeah, that is, that's, that's not good. It's just absolutely slacking. Yeah, slacker bitch. Yeah, bitch ass slacker. He's not even auto attacking. That's a new level of slack. He just gave up. Straight up. Didn't give a fuck. How is he um? How is he um? How does that happen? If you don't cast any spells. Ah, whatever. Okay, who's tanking? Okay, that's good. Uh, just take it, Zachka. Take, take it, take it, take it. Zachka, take it. Fight for who has the aggro. Oh, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be attacking. Allo. Allo. Fear Allo. Horton Enhancement Shaman, please. Where's the Tremor Totem? Allo. Put me in group with you, no? Allo, it's not working. Allo. Allo, it's not pulsing. Allo. Where's it working? It's not working. Allo. Allo, brat. Allo. Can we stop Allo. saying Allo? It's not working. Allo. 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 Ah, Jesus. Don't die, city mall. Hello, I missed the taunt. Hello, I missed the taunt. Uh, give me word, hello. I don't hello. Have thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't have 
<laughs> my stacks actually reset because of that. Alo. Easy. Alo. New tactics. It was, you know, it was New tactic. tactic. Don't, don't know what to do. Panic. Do it, but... Oh, Jesus. Just the boss. Just took the boss. It's fine. Mage tank. Have you heard of you wow ever? No, I'm sorry. They did a Discord raid on True Wow. Oh, True Wow! Yeah, I've heard about True Wow. What's a Discord raid? Yo, I'll be my fans trying to get me to teach a beer tank. I have been playing Wotlick for 30 years, but I'm a bit of a master of none. But I can play all rules a bit decent. Can I link him in a guide? Um, I don't really know any good, good tank guides. I would say just check around the warming forum, check around YouTube. You'll usually find something. Oh. I hope you find something useful. By the way, who gave me the money before? Elidian gave us the money, right? He had Light's Hammer when we couldn't repair. We're gonna have to send him some 500 gold back. Alright, tanking inside. Let's do it. What's the name of the add-on Kreekis is using? Which one? This? It's creating a ritual of souls? I have no idea what that is. I think someone in chat knows though. Wish you luck in the future, loot. Yeah, thanks loot. Sugar. Oh. That needs some sugar. It's MPR, yes, true. That's the one. Durr. Durr. Ah. Where's the fishy? Where's legitimately the fish? Where's the fish? Dude, this Elidian person is an absolute legend. Don't I have 500 gold? No. I guess I... Wait. A bunch of people join Discord and start spamming their their wild Discord, and that's just annoying. Imagine waking up and having to deal with that shit, man. It's just a lot of time lost for no reason because some special people decided uh, they were being funny. That's not cool. We go. We can deal a bit of damage. Like, I might be an asshole at times, but I'm also a pretty sympathetic person, right? When someone is being annoying like that, I'ma just feel bad for the person who uh, was being annoyed. Alright. Press the map. Uh, yeah, oh, I'll get him up. He's out of range. Side. Yeah, there's something wrong with him. I can't see him. He's on the other.
Wait, he's all the way there. What the hell? Sprint. So I don't res him, right? I don't res him. Don't. Okay, I, I don't. Mean, why you wanna save it? Just res I guess. Maybe. Let's wait for, uh, for the ads. We gotta push this boss. We have lost one person. No. Can I'll go inside. I'll go inside and kill myself. Run, run, run. Damage, Seriously. I'd run. Yeah, it was 130 people. Yeah, that's why you apply manual roles in your Discord, alright? <laughs> like, that's why you don't have a bot automate things for you, because of sh bullshit like that. Imagine I wake up and there's like, uh, you know, I don't fucking know that. But some people that hate me, like, you know, I got, I got a few groups that avidly wanna, you know, destroy me, so... So, one of those groups... I log into my Discord and they fuck everything up, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll wake up, I'll feel sad, and I'll feel stupid for having an automated welcome bot. Who thanks the big fire guy? That's the main tank. Something feels wrong with Halion. It's fine, except for some stuff that uh, that went completely wrong. Yeah, the heroic version you have three tanks. The main tank takes Halion and the fire guy, the big fire, <laughs> the big fire, right? And the third tank picks up the small embers. So we're using, I think, a wire for the small embers. Yeah, we're using Kriza to tank small embers. I need a fish. We couldn't get one done today with a stack probe. Mm. We'll see about it. We had somebody disconnect and we just didn't push in time. That's why we wiped it. That That's always going to be a wipe. If you get a third meteor, I mean, you know that high X, but you know, for the people that don't know. If you ever get the third meteor, just wipe it. You are too far behind in time. You are too far behind in the mechanics. You're not going to be able to catch up ever, unless you have stupid amounts of DPS, like realms first amounts of DPS, right? So yeah, third meteor, you just wipe it. Go again. And we had a disconnect as well. He seems to not be able to reconnect at this point as well. This is the duration of Hand of Freedom. Okay. And let's get him in here. Yeah, I wish I could get the Anubarak Bracers. They're very good. I wish, I wish. Uh, now we got an annoying bug where you're 24 people in the raid, but there's one disconnected person. Hmm, that's a cutie. I like that chest. It's a very good chest. I'm generally a fan of these red transmogs on shamans. Like, the shield is a little bit... Uh... The shield is a little bit uninspired, but... You know, the, the helmet is also uninspired, but... 
I like the chest part. It fits with the legs, of course. Ah, it's a good transmog. Is this the in-game theme? No, no, this is Elder Scrolls music. And speaking of, we're about to uh, to run out of bone. So there we go. And this one end. Oh. Good job, YouTube. Autoplay aids. It's just some Skyrim music. I think in a little bit we'll do a stream with the actual in-game music. But Skyrim music is better. Like if I pause the Skyrim music. Pause that for a sec. Like it's not bad here. But it feels like ambiance, not like actual music. So, back to Skyrim music it is. Oh no. Quickly, moderators, get M.A. Antonin. Give him a timeout, quickly. Like shit man, we talk about politics sometimes, I just don't want these crazy discussions, you know. I added that rule in the description, because at that point, when I was making the description, Donald MFing Trump was president. And a lot of people were very vocal about that, you know, very vocal. And I didn't want to deal with the huge debates that people get into. I mean, you've seen it on YouTube comments, you've seen it in Facebook, Twitter comments, it's insane. People get so rabid about it. I didn't want to deal with that, but we can talk politics, as long as it's not, you know, too much. Don't push your propagandas here. Only I get to push my propagandas here. Is gearing a feral tank hard with a progressive guild? No. Progressive guilds should focus their gear on the tanks, right? Especially if it's a big upgrade. So you'll be picking up um, gear pieces left and right very quickly. Do Naruto politics count? No. Now we talked about Naruto in, uh, in the Rams first race as well. I learned that the uh, Uchichi Pacha, Uchichi Cha, the Uchicha clan, the guy killed his clan. Oh, spoilers by the way for a 10 year old anime. He killed his clan and then he became an anti-hero and later the hero. Very typical stuff, you know. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Hello, can we go today? No. Let's try to summon him. Yay, I'm inside. Oh, <gasps> yeah! What the fuck? It's a this kind is of the magic. Oh, he just used our mastery. Wait, we gotta wait two minutes for his cooldown. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, that's my main man, Dachi you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, I just got a quick rundown from uh, Tim. But the anti-hero arc is, uh, you know... It's very common, it's good arc. It creates good uh, anti-heroes. So I can understand uh, why people like it. Can of hero tank roll on the cloak? And the chest from gunship battle. I wouldn't roll for the cloak. I would just leave those to my rogues and my paladins. But yeah, you can totally roll on the chest. You need the expertise, right? Alright, good move. Almost a good move. He went off angle a little bit. This is very tight. Very tight. 
I'll have to fix the... I'll have to fix the positioning inside as well, and that's kind of eights to do, but I'll do it. She just was trying to do a pool, right? That's why Itachi killed him, if I remember. Ah. That's so Japanese, man. You know, it, like, in actual ancient Japanese culture, there was a lot of backstabbing and, and politics like that as well. There were a lot of that shits going around. So, I can understand why they would do it like that. You can usually see, you know, in, in media, there's always, like, a reflection to something like Star Wars, you know, fucking stormtroopers. Though those are just Nazis, straight up. All right, I'm entering in three, two, one. You can enter. And I'll wait a little bit with aggro. Alright, yeah, aggro is fine. You want to follow uh, the next lineup? Stay, uh, move is this one. Yeah, this one, right? So, yes. Yep. Let's go. HP, freedom yourself. Yeah. Alright. This is good. Let's focus up, though. Enough Uchi Chaing. Let's go, Gorilla. Let's thank the boss. Beware the shadows. That's it, man. You listen to that Beware the Shadows and you know exactly when to move. I'm not really popping cooldowns here yet, but I guess we can pop a few. Alright, five seconds on cutter. You're gonna look to your left side. You're gonna look to your shoulders. Your left shoulder, your right shoulder. There should be a ball on top of it. It's good. He can be outside for vital punishment. I don't know. Prop move, move. Alright, aggro is fine for now. It might look a little bit messy because of the default in game thing, but you gotta look alright over here. Bear cannot get crit. If I crit, I get an absorption effect based on my attack power. Alright, I'm gonna have to reposition a little bit. Alright, we're not popping any cooldowns yet. Like, honestly, the healers are really keeping me alive here. They're making me very confident. That's not good. I should still be popping cooldowns. Alright, let's move it together. Yes. Start moving. Alright, there we go. Alright, outside wiped. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh... Oh no! Oh no! What the fuck? Nobody got breath. Oh well. Let's see if we can survive. Uh, no. JK. I had buffs, yeah. Shouldn't you pop CDs when moving? I mean, yeah, but the healers are really good inside. So I felt a bit cocky. I should be doing it, especially in the last days. But yeah.
<laughs> Beer gets like a mini shield when he crits. Yes, you have savage defense, which should be somewhere over here. Yeah, savage defense. Each time you deal a critical strike while in bear or diaper form, you gain savage defense, reducing the damage taken from the next physical attack that strikes you by 25% of your attack power. So if you take a hit while you just crit, then 25% of your attack power, it's like a block, basically, right? It's the... it's the, uh, the replacement for the shield. Basically, you can kind of think of it like that. tank yeah sure you're just gonna struggle with aggro earlier on when you're like 5.7k gear score there's no way you can hold aggro from 6.5 plus people it's actually impossible even now if i swap to my wrathful gladiator's great staff instead of my old binder i'm gonna have some serious aggro issues i guess i'll swap to wrathful gladiator's great staff later in the fight So I can be a little bit more tanky, but I'll start with the old binder for sure to generate a bunch of threat. The main pyro for popping CDs when any healer has a debuff during the rotation phase or percentages of course, I don't pop them otherwise. I used to do that as well, you know, but people really hated me for it. Like it made sense to me as well, right? They can heal me. I can take a full rotation without dying, it's very 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 theoretically possible and I've done it a million times as well. And whenever my healer get a... Uh, whenever my healers were to get a debuff... Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. It's okay, it's okay, I got him. I got him. I'll rebuff him too. Except. Nice melee range. Oh. Oops, I just innovated myself. There we go. When I had aggro issues, I enchanted Berserk on my spear. Fucking legend. Who needs armor anyway? Less armor equals more rage, equals more threat. Stonks. DPS right now. Ah, that's good. It's a good place to start, but you're gonna have to regem every single time, you know. It's annoying. That's why I have uh, two felled woods. I got Batata and I got Snoozy. That was bold me though, like outside you're really gonna have to focus up on the embers. Like I can't do it outside, you know, I'll be inside. Alright, entering in 3, 2, 1, you can enter. Ha! Faked you guys out, huh? Alright, there it is. It's the double taunt. Triple taunt. We're gonna move with this one, this one that's coming yep. up. Keep the freedom like this. Okay. So far so good. Let's pop a Berserk here just to get big aggro. We can use it later as like a semi-defensive cooldown. 
it's not really a defensive, but I like to think of it like that. Because if you get crits, you know, you get that shield effect. It's good. Ah! Dude, I have my fingers closed when I said that. Didn't you know? <laughs> I guess you can have the choker. You got me a rump first. That's worth it. Few CDs there. Oh, HP gives salvation on uh, Yashua. Not salvation me, I swear to fucking god. There we go. Good. Let's get Yashua down there because he's gonna be the person who's gonna climb in terms of threat. I know that from experiences with him. Start moving. Right, that's good. Not time to pop the potion just yet. There with this cutter. And start moving inside in a bit. One second. Let's pop some minor cooldowns there. There we go. Like the whole thing about not popping your cooldowns is that the healers go oom um faster, right? Because you have to take more damage, that's just how it is. Percentage damage reductions are gonna reduce your damage by percentages. Alright, cutter, ink. Here. Of course. Uh, I'll get it. All right. I'm going to move inside. Here is the bark skin and the enrage. I wish I had a fifth cooldown so that I could keep that one cooldown for when the H pala gets uh, fucked, you know? Alright, let's pop a potion. Right now, cor uh, corporeality is pushed against the outside. That's not good. So we have to stop our DPS for a bit. Start moving. Thank you. Uh, can't stop it, you can salvation. Right, Coco. Yeah, yeah, just get Joshua again. Like, ah, it's not really needed, but. Just... Alright, there we go. It's not really needed at all, to be honest. Let's swap to the Red Hook that he just played staff here. Cutter, cutter. Pop a few CDs there. And a fellow tank hole on DBS wrist? Yes. It's good. It's good for them, of course. It's not the best, but it's definitely good. I'll move with this cutter. We're yes, gonna I'm... move into this cutter. Uh, I'll be the right. Yeah, that's what I said. Into the cutter. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you was asking for Sudoku. I want you guys to play Sudoku with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Uh... aggro issues. Are aggro issues specified for a beer tank? Uh, do you mean like you only have aggro issues on a beer tank? Because, nah, if you don't know how to play DK, you're not gonna have any aggro there. If you don't know how to play Protection Paladin so well, you won't be able to get aggro there either, right? It's all about having hunters that know what to do. It's about rogues 
that know what to do. It's about you that know what to do. It's never only one factor. It's not like, okay, he's on a bad spec so he can't play, right? Maybe you get that with Frost Mage, but there's a lot of stuff that just works. And as long as it works, it works. Wotlik is like that. Very nice. Something feels really weird with Halion. It's just outside being a very Pepega. We've also got a lot of damage inside. And outside doesn't seem to be able to match that. So our corporal reality is becoming an issue for the outside tank. Now how would you go about fixing that? You can have one legendary DPS realm swap, right? If everything is going well and the leaders don't have to break their backs leading, then you have time to get calls in like, okay, let's say uh, Yashua go outside for like one meteor. The problem with that is, is that he's gonna have to come back inside at some point, and at that point he is going to have to worry about Cutter. So, what you need communication, right? But if the communication channel is completely uh, busy, then you can't communicate a tactic like that. And right now, communication channel is very busy. Are we going? Opa. Go retown. I'll yep. be go retown. Gonna Guys, we need to haunt it right now. Shadow freeze, bye bye. Oh, hold up. Oh, that Jesus. Legend. Move, oh, move. Good, he totally just ate the fire blood. Oh, Jesus. Ushmina, what a sexy bitch. I'm wiping and I'm searching for the code about them for two hours, couldn't find it, that server. I think there's like five. To 10,000 people playing on a daily, right? That's what I've heard from people. Okay. Good taunt, good taunt on the warrior right there. Entering in three, two, one. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna pull it out, okay? I'm just gonna reset it. Ola, what's up? Why did you rush in, Obi? Like, the Inferno was at half HP, the big one. Well, I didn't rush in. I was going well, to. You, you were counting down to go in. Right. That's what I meant. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I thought it was time. Like, when I got the sack, I was like, all right, it's good to go, but. Like, yeah. What's your armor penetration? Alright, this is gonna be last high. Let's see if we can do it. With the R with the old binder, it's uh, more than 50%. Without the old binder, we're sitting on 44%. Hmm. Alright, let's try the bag of marbles. I don't even know if that still works. Alright, that's a good pull. This is it, boys. Final attempt. Good start. 
Let's do it. Oh! It totally does! And it's a minute cooldown. Oh, nice. That is very nice. If I H Bala gets. Uh, how much percent chance do I have to dodge? 55 plus 25%. If my H Bala gets. Uh, what do you call that? The consumption. I'm gonna drop a bag of marbles on his forehead. There's 2,800 people on white main at the moment. Alright, that's that's not... Yeah, I'd say that's borderline dead. I've been on servers with 2,000 people and it does feel dead. Because those 2,000 something people are split, right? You got Horde faction, Alliance faction. I know, it's, it's gonna feel dead, but uh, you're probably gonna wanna find a guild for a server like that. Without a guild, it's not gonna be a good time for you. I'm off the righteous right there. What is this meteor strike, man? Alright, are we ready? Give him suck. Alright, three, two, one, you can enter. One more taunt. That should be enough time for tricks. There it is. Ah, oh, this is fucked. Um, you might want to have to come towards me a little bit here. I'm going through it. Oh, this is fine actually. Just start moving. I didn't see that, but apparently some shit happened right there. I was supposed to innovate, I think. Alright, let's start moving here. about to get a phase 3 so we're gonna stop on the boss for a little bit we're gonna start moving here now uh, boss is a little bit ill positioned I'm not sure when I can reposition him either I guess we'll see all right now we push it we one debuff job hunter disengage out of that very good. Hunter did his job perfectly there. Alright, cutter. Let's start moving. Yeah, I'm not sure when I can move this, this bitch. Moving inside. Let's get the trinket up. Let's have at least the trinket and the bark skin and rage. And we'll keep the the big cooldown for when RJ gets um, what's it called consumption. Let's drop some fairy fires as well. Inside's moving. Alright, now we reposition him a little bit. There we go. That's fucking great. Alright, got three minutes left on the Enrage. I think right now is a good time to pop the armor potion.
Alright, so start moving inside. Okay, there's another breath. There's the trinket. Yeah, this, this feels much better. Keeping the big cooldown, I like that. Moving inside. Alright, some big cooldowns up. What's up with the inside? Ooh, that's very bad. We lost HP. Side. I'm just gonna pop a cooldown here. The big one. The big ones. There we go. Move inside. Let's get the minor cooldowns up. Alright, apparently outside has had some significant, significant fuck up. Alright, we're gonna move. Move inside. Awesome. Uh, alright, let's see what happened outside. Only two deaths. That's not so bad. Oh, there's a bunch of shoes there, man. A bunch of shoes. Oof. Then DKP. Up, oh, up, oh, yep, yeah, that's it. GG. I'm not gonna bid against that. Fuck that. <laughs> that is too much. Is a Shadow Priest good in Nox Ramos and Ulduar? And how about a Discipline for Frostmourne? Discipline is a bit rough on the mana early on, but it's still very strong. You're still gonna want a Discipline Priest in your raid. Um. Let's see. Shadow Priest is still good as well. It's not a top DPS spec, right? It never really is, unless you're in Ruby Sanctum. And you can AoE all those adds down with your Mind Seer. Uh, oh, Iron Torch. Very nice. Shadow Priest is still wanted. You provide all healing, you provide good you provide good buffs, right? So it's good. It's definitely good. Do you know when to... How do you know when to pop Sindragosa Trinket? Alright, so Sindragosa Trinket is going to stop magical damage, right? You're stopping a... You're increasing your arcane, fire, frost, nature, and shadow resistance. So not holy damage. That is one thing. Basically, you want to pop it when you've got a huge amount of magical damage incoming. Dragon fights is very simple, right? Dragon has a tail swipe and dragon has a breath attack. These things are pretty much always a guarantee. There are a few exceptions. Maligos doesn't have a tail swipe, I believe. But he has a very, very rough breath. But yeah. Dragons, you're going to use it for the tail... Uh, you're gonna use it for the dragon breath. On Lich King, you've got a big fit you gotta get a big shadow damage incoming from the Soul Reaper. So you pop it there. On Lich King, you've got spirits coming to you from the air, which are shadow damage. So you pop it there. On Fester God, the Pungent Light Explosion is shadow damage. So if you want to, you can pop it there. Malibogu, shadow damage, pop it there. 
Bone Storm? No. It's physical damage. The Trinket isn't gonna do shit. Alright. That's how you're gonna wanna think about this in Dragosa Trinket. But yeah, guys. I think that's it. I'm gonna take a little break right here. Actually, I wanna send some gold over to Elidian. 500 Gs to him. So once I get my DKP, I'm sending him some gold. Ugh, Iron Forge is my city, bro. I always go here. Vroom vroom! So yeah. Oh, how you doing, man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. And Batman, super. Hope you're having a wonderful day, too. I heard Impera did Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic Solo Heal inside with the rest of the route. What do you think? I think that's possible. Yeah. I mean, I use the Solo Heal Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic all the time. You know? Like, sure, damages were a little bit off. You, you maybe took a little bit less damage. There was no parry haste thing that helped a lot, you know? But I'm 100% sure you can still solo heal Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic. Doing it with a Resto Droot is probably, ironically, the easiest thing to do it with. If you have a Death Knight tank inside, that is an absolute fucking legend with self-healing. Um, yeah. Holy damage is unresistible because Blizzard's favorite child. It's unresistible on the player, but it is resistible on NPCs, right? Um, I need gold. I'm sure Gotra has some money. Let's send it to Elidian. Hey, Item, what's up, man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. You brought too many people to Frostmourne? Nah, they were already there. I just joined the bandwagon. Yeah, I got gold here. Yeah, Lydian. There we go. I need to send a little bit more cash to Patata. Otherwise, we're gonna run into the same issue over and over. Let's go ahead and send 2.5k. Oh, by the way, don't worry. Um... I did buy a coin item on this character, but it was the epic purple shirt, so it's all good. Yeah, let's go stand right here, up on the horse. There it is. I need some gold if it's possible, I wanna buy a wand. RIP. You wanna buy a wand. Um. I don't know how expensive wands are. Ooh, it shouldn't be too expensive, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, dude. Alright. Guys, thank you for watching. I might go live one more time. We'll see. Uh, we're, we might level the troll a little bit more. I don't know. I'm gonna turn the stream off see what's up and i might come back if not tonight i'll be back tomorrow for sure have the man out the ass nicely i mean i don't have infinite i don't have infinite cash i can't send people cash you know like you can send one person cash the next person's gonna want cash what you did is for the other guy Abby. is my reason not valid enough and then you get the people who are like my son is going to die to diabetes you need me to say I need you to send money so I can buy the cure. And I'm like, bruh. Bruh. Come on, bruh. I am just one man. I, I'm not the bank of Switzerland. I cannot do this for you. I'm very sorry. 
all right so yeah thank you guys for watching appreciate it hope you learned something if not if you didn't like it or if you didn't learn something feel free to leave a dislike you all know what's up and i'm gonna get out of here so good night